In this video, I'll show you how to create these nice and minimalistic homey style light buttons in Home Assistant. Before we start, you will need to install Button Card from Hacks. Link is in the video description. Start by creating a new card. Add a vertical stack card and a grid card. I set the columns to 2 and I turn off render as squares. Then add Button Card. I then add a name, an icon, and a label. We need to set Show Label to True. I also set Show State as False, although this might be unnecessary. We also need to define a light as the entity. Then to make the light turn on and off when we click the button, we need to set Tap Action to Toggle. Test it, make sure it's working. Now we can start to style the card based on the state of our light. In my example, I want to make the whole card yellow when the light is on and keep it default when the light is off. Under State, we can define two states for on and off. Then we can style the card's background color. One hot tip here is that we can also change the icon or the text based on the state. You can use colorhunt.co to find a nice yellow color. Instead of a solid color, you could use a gradient. In my opinion, this will look even better. CSSgradient.io is quite good. Experiment with this tool, then just copy the CSS code into the Home Assistant editor. Then it's time to start styling the card. If you watched my previous video, then this will be familiar. Under Styles, I add Grid, Icon, IMG, Cell, Name, Label, and Card. I then set the card's padding to 18px. Whoops! This is me from the future. This grid styling isn't actually necessary for this card. It is however nice to know how this works, so I will keep this section in here. Towards the end of the video I realized my mistake, and I removed this code. When working with grids and button card, I is the icon, N is the name, and L is the label. I set justify self of the IMG cell to end. Once we give it a size, it will move to the right. I then set the icon width to 24px and the color to black. For the name, I set justify self to start. Then I just play around with the font size, line height, and font weight. The label will be very similar. We just don't need the line height value, and I make the font size and font weight a bit smaller than the name. Starting to look pretty good. I then just add one more light for this example. You will only need to change the entity, name, and label. Last couple of things that I want to add or change. It would be nice to be able to dim the light and change the white balance. I still want to keep the button as minimalistic as it is, but we could add a hold action to open a pop-up window with all light settings. Then I just removed that grid styling that I was talking about earlier. And that's it. You've created a beautiful and minimalistic light button for your dashboard. And you can press and hold the button to open the pop-up with all the light settings. Hope you liked this video. I have a lot more content coming, so if you like what I've done so far, I would really appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.